Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Oxygen 3.6 Alpha 1. Let's jump right in and take a look at the first new feature. In 3.6 Alpha 1, we've added rem units, which are a relative unit based on the font size of the root element in your document. So in Oxygen, this means that your font size, if it's set in rem, will be relative to the font size of the HTML element. So let's jump in and I'll just show you how this will work. To use rem units, we're first going to need to define the font size of the HTML element. So let's jump over to Manage, Selectors, and let's add an HTML selector. Now in the Properties pane, we can go to Advanced, Typography, and set the font size to what we want our base font size to be for this site. In this case, we'll use 16. So now, one rem is equal to 16 pixels. Two rem is equal to 32 pixels, so on and so forth. So to use this, we now can select any text element, we'll use this heading, and we can change its unit to rem. And in this case, it's 128 rem, which is huge. We're gonna set it to one and you'll see that it's 16 pixels. We can set it to two, three, four, so on and so forth. The nice thing about this is that if you're doing responsive design, so let's say our font size for this heading is going to be 10 rem on desktops, and we don't want to adjust that for every heading on our site, instead if we use rem units for all of our headings, we can just adjust the font size of our HTML element at the breakpoints where we want that font size to change. So we can select the HTML selector and go down to say 992 pixels and go to advanced typography and we can change this font size. And if we lower it, then it's going to change the relative unit that is used for rem. So to see this effect, let's jump back to the front end and we'll refresh here and then we'll inspect and we'll resize down to 991 pixels where everything adjusts because our root font size has changed. And when we change that HTML font size, it affects any element that's using a rem unit. So it's an easy way to give you a central location to kind of control your relative font size for a lot of elements. And this is probably more of a power user feature, but folks that are used to using RIM, I think will really appreciate having the ability to do that in Oxygen. Now moving on to the next part of this is we've added the ability to use custom units. In the unit dropdown, you'll find a none unit that allows you to use any unit or CSS function in fields that accept units. So basically this prevents Oxygen from outputting its own unit and says, hey, you can type whatever you want in this field and we'll use that. This lets you use CSS functions like calc and clamp, and it lets you use units that aren't in the oxygen unit list like ch, ex, vmax, and vmin. And we'll jump over here and I'll show you how that works. So let's select this heading, go back up to all devices, and instead of rem, we're going to click the unit and we're gonna go down to none. So now this value, this 10, will be output with no unit which means we can do something like this. We can type clamp and we can say our minimum size that we want is going to be say 22 pixels. We wanna use a nine viewport width value for the kind of scaling unit that goes between our minimum value and our maximum value of say 128 pixels. Now, if we save this and take a look at the front end and then we inspect as we scale our viewport down, we're gonna see that this heading dynamically scales. So it's 128 pixels here. Then it starts using the viewport width value that we defined as the middle parameter of the clamp function. And then it goes down, down, down until it reaches that minimum value that we defined, which was 22 pixels. So this is really powerful. And some of these functions like clamp and min and max aren't supported on all browsers, but browser support is getting better and the ability to use these in Oxygen is going to make responsive design, especially when it comes to headings and font sizes, incredibly easy. 
So with this, we've not only added the rim unit, which a lot of folks have asked for, but we've kind of opened the doors and said, if you know how to write these custom functions and want to use these more advanced units, go ahead. Now, you do need to be aware that because oxygen's not outputting a unit, that you're going to have to form these values correctly, or you could have visual issues due to incorrect CSS. So this is definitely a more advanced feature and you should be mindful of what you're writing in these fields when you're using the none unit especially. Now let's move on to the next feature which is edit mode. Edit mode is a new access level that you can assign on a per role or per user basis that restricts users from performing certain actions in Oxygen. As you can see here from this list, by default, we restrict quite a few things. Users with edit only access won't see the oxygen meta box. Instead, they'll see new edit buttons placed above the WordPress content area in both Gutenberg and the classic editor. They will not have access to oxygen settings and config in the WordPress admin panel. Instead, they'll just see the templates link, which will allow them to access oxygen templates. In the builder, they will not be able to access and edit global styles, style sheets, or selectors. They won't be able to add elements. They won't be able to manipulate conditions. They can't convert elements to links or link wrappers. They cannot duplicate or delete elements. They also cannot add classes to elements they can't copy, clear, or delete selectors. Code blocks are completely locked, meaning you can't even click them if you have edit-only access. The advanced tab in the properties pane is hidden. Custom CSS and JavaScript on elements is not available. And edit-only users cannot drag and drop elements. So this edit mode basically converts Oxygen into an environment that is very safe for a novice user to access and edit content in while restricting them from anything that could severely disrupt the site or your design. But just creating an edit mode and saying people with edit only access can't do anything is not sufficient. So we've also added some granular control. So let's jump into the WordPress admin panel and we'll go over how this can be configured. So we'll go to oxygen settings and you'll find that the post type manager and the role manager are gone and now we have this client control tab. So let's click that. So you can see here we have the role manager and the post type manager. Nothing's changed on the post type manager. We've just moved it to consolidate everything into this client control tab. But on the role manager, you'll notice a new access level. If we go to say editor, we can now choose edit only access in addition to no access or full access. So we can set edit only. And now we have some granular options. The first is enable elements in edit mode. As we discussed, users with edit only access cannot add elements in edit mode. But if you want to allow them to add and manipulate some elements, you can do that here by checking this box. And we can go down here to this field and add say a section, if we want them to be able to add sections, heading, text, any element in oxygen is going to show up in this list and it does filter based on what you type. So we can type div here. So now editors, since we've assigned edit only access and enabled some elements, will have an add menu with only sections, divs, heading, and text elements. So this is really great if you have some clients that maybe want to be able to add or create things, but you still want to restrict them fairly heavily. This is still gonna lock them out of any code in the builder, which really was always the big risk of letting a client into Oxygen, while still allowing them to add elements and edit content in the builder. And to take it a step further, say they're far more advanced, you wanna give them more ability to style elements, you can also enable the advanced tab for editors. And if you're allowing them to add elements, you'll probably want to enable drag and drop so that they can move those elements around. We can also enable reusable parts and enable the design library. The enable design library I see being very useful for developers who are setting up a custom design set for their clients to use with pre-made blocks. So you could enable this design library, then go into the library settings and disable the default design sets, leaving only the design set that you've set up for the client. 
So in that way, you wouldn't even need to enable sections, divs, headings, and text, or whatever elements in Oxygen. You could just enable the design library and give them pre-made blocks to work from. So this is great for situations where you're going to hand off the site to the client, and you're probably still remaining involved uh, with a maintenance plan or something, and the client's account is going to be set to editor or author, contributor, subscriber, something less than administrator. But if the client wants more control on the site in general, they're probably going to need to be administrators. So in that case, we can go down to per user access here. This allows us to define an oxygen access level on a per user basis. So in this case, I can click this dropdown and select the demo user. And even though that user is an administrator, I can set them to no access, edit only, or full access. So if we set them to edit only access, that overrides their role-based access level. So administrators by default have full access, but now demo, even though they're administrator, will have edit only access. And each user has the same granular controls that we saw up above in the role manager section. We can enable specific elements for this user only, enable the advanced tab, drag and drop, reusable parts, and the design library. And similarly, say we've enabled edit only for all editors, but there's one that we really don't want to have getting into oxygen. We could add another user rule here. We could select an editor. Let's assume demos an editor in this case, we'll pretend. And we could set them to no access, which is gonna override the role-based rule that we set up above. So let's leave demo in here at edit only access and let's save these settings. And I'm gonna log in as the demo user to show you what Oxygen looks like in edit mode. So let's log out and demo, demo. And now I'm gonna to go to pages and I'll go to this page that we set up for this video and I'll edit it with Oxygen. And you can see that this looks a little bit different. We have no manage button up here at the top right of the builder, though we still have history and structure and back to WordPress. And in the structure pane, we don't have our hamburger menu or the delete icon because of course, edit only access users cannot do that by default. We can select elements here and in the left side properties pane, we can see only the primary tab controls, which means we can definitely change the text color and change some sizes and weights and things like that, but we cannot change advanced properties. And we can still double click and edit text just like we normally would in Oxygen. So by default, this gives you a much more restricted environment for client handoff, but with the ability to give the client more power in Oxygen on an as needed basis. Another extension of this is if we go back to admin, as an administrator where we can see the Oxygen meta boxes, you'll see a new checkbox that says lock post in edit mode. If we check this, then any user or role with edit only access will not be able to edit this post in Oxygen. So this gives you a little bit more granular control where you can give edit access to a user and enable all the elements they need and the capabilities they need, but still keep them out of things like your main template with your header and footer and things that they really shouldn't be going in and changing. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's what's new in Oxygen 3.6 Alpha 1. Thank you for watching.